Diddy's legal team officially fights back. We got to talk about that and a lot more. But before we get into it, hello, my name is Sebastian and I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who's covering all the Diddy case, Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck, divorce, Kardashians, Britney Spears, The Bieber, Selena Gomez, you name it, I'm covering it. I do five videos a day, so you will never miss a beat here, honey, okay? So make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. I'm so happy to say that we reached 87,000 last night, and I just really wanted to say thank you guys so much. I've been doing this for nine years, and I'm just so grateful that you guys are along the journey. It means so much to me, so thank you all. All right, best friend. So Diddy is somewhere in jail. Ooh, piss the F up, girl, because his team is officially fighting back. So listen, TMZ is reporting that Diddy's legal team fires back at Tony Busby, saying Tony just wants publicity. So if you guys didn't know, Tony Busby is the attorney representing the 120 new alleged victims of Diddy. They've already filed six lawsuits, I believe. Four of them were actually men. And um, I mean... Tony Busby is just waiting until the other nail drops because allegedly, girl, he is going to be exposing a lot of celebrity names. He's already said it in a press conference the, last week saying that if these people don't come to him and basically, you know, fess up of what they did or what they witnessed or what they allowed to happen and not step in, he's going to be naming names. But the names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know watched this behavior occur and did nothing. And I'm talking about the people that participated encouraged it, egged it on. They know Diddy's legal team is pushing back on the Texas attorney who hit Diddy with a slew of lawsuits Monday, slamming Tony Busby as a lawyer craving attention. The Bad Boy Records founders' attorneys tell TMZ, quote, the press conference and the 1-800 number that uh, preceded today's barrage of filings were clear attempts to garner publicity. A reference to Busby, who says he's representing 120 alleged Diddy victims. Diddy's legal team adds, quote, in court, the truth will prevail that Mr. Combs has never essayed anyone, adult or minor, man or woman. So it's important to note that Busby filed six lawsuits against Diddy earlier Monday, yesterday, with each one accusing him of S.A. Four of the accusers were men, including one who claims he was just 16 years old when Diddy allegedly fondled his private areas at a white party in the Hamptons. Busby is likely to file more lawsuits in the coming days and weeks, and he's hinted at suing other celebrities too, though that's yet to happen. So Busby has said in his press conference that there are shocking names on that list. Now, we all thought that he was going to expose all the names last week when he did the press conference. And he even said, I know a bunch of you guys are probably here because you think I'm gonna be exposing the, the names, but it won't be today. Listen, Busby wants to take down every single person that had something to do with it. Not doing the alleged actions that you know Diddy's being accused of, but the people that also witnessed or knew about it, or egged on, or supported. Those people are also on Tony Busby's, you know, um, radar. Now, I will say this: there, there are some very powerful people that are being, you know, uh, reported on that allegedly have a connection to Diddy in these situations or worse situations. There's names like Kanye, Jay Z, Beyonce, Justin Bieber has been dragged into this. Usher. Jennifer Lopez, you know, there's so many conspiracies about Jennifer Lopez's divorce with Ben Affleck having to do something with Diddy, allegedly about an FBI tape that was shown to Ben Affleck. I mean, there's so many things. Justin Bieber's getting dragged into this as well because, you know, they're saying that he could potentially be an alleged victim. They're saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce have done some very dark things. So I'm saying all of this to tell you that a lot of powerful people are being dragged in this with Diddy. 
But what does this mean? Listen, Diddy is fighting this to the end. But I will say this, girl, the same person that said that the Cassie thing was a lie and then the hotel leaks the video and it turned out to be true. So why should we believe anything that he says now? If he was capable of doing that to Cassie, I'm sure he's capable of doing a lot more things. These allegations and accusations against Diddy are very, very strong. And like I always tell you guys, they are things that actually happen to millions of people in the world regarding S.A. and R. Now, that is why I'm trying to handle it with the utmost respect. But I will say that on May 5th, 2025, when that trial starts, I do think that we are going to have our minds blown with what is going to come out. In the upcoming weeks, Tony Busby is said to, to file more lawsuits. And he has said to have a names of celebrities that allegedly participated or witnessed or had something to do with it. Also, there are reports saying that there are celebrities already settling outside of court. So like I said in, in my other video, if you're settling outside of court, it's because you want to avoid public scrutiny and public drama, you know, and having an involvement with Diddy. But it is a little too late. Anybody who went to these white parties, anybody who had any type of association to Diddy is now being in the eye of the hurricane and on everybody's radar. So listen, they could deny it all they want. They could sit there and say that the truth will prevail. And I absolutely agree that the truth will definitely prevail <laughs> because the truth I think is gonna be quite dirty. If he was capable of doing that to Cassie, I will repeat myself, I believe he's capable of anything. Now, what does this mean about the other celebrities that Tony Busby said that he had some shocking names that from very powerful, well-known people? Now listen, like I said, some celebrities are allegedly settling outside of court, but I'm sure at some point some names will be leaked. Now, once that starts happening and names actually start being leaked, what's gonna happen? It's going to cause Hollywood to go into panic. Because like Tony Busby said in his press conference, that he is sure a lot of people are deleting text messages and data off their phone because they know that their time is coming. So I believe that Diddy will do whatever it takes to clear his name. And if that means bringing down Hollywood's most greatest, powerful, you know, human beings, he's going to do it. So I just think that we're going to start seeing celebrities act very different. You know, there's uh, there's rumors now allegedly of Beyonce divorcing Jay-Z and allegedly that's to protect assets. Um, there's rumors that Kanye West is moving to, to Japan. There's rumors that Jennifer Lopez's divorce was caused by, you know, by Diddy. There's rumors that Justin Bieber any moment now is going to expose all of it. But at the end of the day, they are just rumors. That's why I think it's so important for Tony Busby to start mentioning names because if there are other people out there who are guilty of these alleged allegations like, you know, Diddy's being accused of, then I really do think that we should we should just bring down everyone. Let's get a 241 special here, right? Let's let's finally bring down people that we the, the, the public have been supporting spending our well-earned money on these people. And I would like to know if who I'm supporting is a monster or not. But you know what? The good thing is that, you know, I support so few. I support Selena Gomez and I know she's not a monster. I support, you know, I know my people that I support. I know they have nothing, you know, to do with Diddy. But there's a lot of people out here who love a lot of these people that are connected to Diddy. So I'm just saying, like, girl, I'd rather know who, who I'm spending my hard-earned money on and making sure that they're not monsters or they're not, you know, participating in these alleged allegations. So, you know, it, this is going to be very messy. I believe Diddy's team is going to do whatever it takes to fight Tony Busby back. I think that this is going to be a very long trial. And, you know, uh, uh, Diddy's lawyer, Mark Ignifago, or some bullshit like that, um, he said that Diddy cannot wait to take the stand. And, and that, for me, means that Diddy is ready to spill some tea. And if Diddy spills some tea, I'm going to be here reporting on it, girl. So listen... What do we think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you believe that the truth will be will prevail? And do you believe that Diddy is innocent? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And once again, thank you so much for 87K. It means so much to me and I could not be more grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.